It doesn't open all the way there. Oh, okay. okay. There you go. Yeah. This is, uh, if, you, if you look behind the facade, this is what you would see uh, from, from, from the front. You're right here coming in the pedal division here. You're, you're at the bottom level. This is the, the pedal division here. These are the back of some of the big pedal pipes right here. Wow. And this actually is the largest pipe in the organ right here. That's the bottom of the 32 foot double open diapason. That, that one pipe weighs almost 1,800 pounds and is 32 feet long. That's the largest organ, uh, the largest pipe in the organ. And this is in the place. Yeah, the, what? the Shetland Pony was oh. that was a promotional picture oh, when, a they, when they first built the organ and they put it in there just to show people the scale uh, of the pipe. So in here you'll see the way the different divisions of the organ are stacked up on top of each other. This this actually goes up four floors mm -hmm. in this division, and then the swell division is up on or the string division is up on the fourth floor. The orchestral division over here on the right that Don just pointed out to you. And then up on the seventh floor is the ethereal division with the chimes and the, and the, big, yeah, the, big, the big trumpets. Nice. Right there. Okay? Cool. So, I'm going to come in here. Actually, inside the belly of the beast. This is, this is the, behind the facade, you see the gold facade pipes mm -hmm. that you're obviously behind. Those are all, those are all dummies. Those don't, those don't oh. speak at all. Those are just for show. Oh, wow. <laughs> all of the pipe work is here. You can see uh, some of the reed oh, pipes here. here. Yeah, these, yeah, are, these are all, these are all speaking pipes, yeah. Speaking. And then the, uh, the pedal, more of the pedal division up here. This is the bottom of the next okay. set of pipes above your head, okay? Where, where is, oh, right um, above us. Yeah, these are the oh, bottom here. boards of, of the wind, of the wind chests uh, above your head, on, on which all the pipes speak. And this is where you test it here? This is, uh, this is the tuning keyboard. We can take this in any of the divisions. It's set up wireless, and so you can sit there and, and select which pipes you need to tune and simply hold the notes and, and, and tune the pipes right from in here. You don't have to have somebody sitting at the, at the console holding the pipes and yelling back and forth. Uh, how are, do you, excuse me, how yeah. do you tune pipes? How do you tune pipes? <laughs> Basically, you change the lengths. You make them longer or shorter. It's like with the, uh, with the like, reed instrument, you, you change the... Right, or, or, or you can't do that with all the pipes, though. Yes, you can. You every, can't every, pipe do, is every, every pipe is tuned in one, in one sense or another. Here's a, wood, here's a, a, a wooden change pipe here, and you can see the slide. Yeah, see yeah. This slide here? Yeah. By sliding that up or down, you lengthen or shorten the oh. reverberation length. Uh, so every pipe has to be tuned or can be tuned. Um, Generally, the real large pipes you don't tune very yeah. often because they they don't yeah. they, they don't change enough. Right. But you can see here's here's the bomb bar, uh, here's the big heavy the big one. pipe, and, and this is the tuning uh, wire that um, you tap up or down to change the length of the of the vibrating reed inside, um, and the different pipes uh, are tuned and voiced uh, individually. So if you come over here, you see there's, there's some of the 32 foot, uh, this is the, the 32 foot diaphone, you can see that's one pipe. Uh, and here's the stairways that goes up to the different divisions, you can sort of peek your head in and see uh, some of the pipe work over your head. The swell division is up here, the high and low pressure swell division is up above your heads. That's where we're doing some work right now, refurbishing that and replacing the valves and um, uh, redoing uh, shellacking woodwork and stuff to keep it, to keep it nice. If you come up here again, here's more, here's the bottom boards of the, of the swell division above your head. Uh, this is the piano that is uh, playable from the console. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, 
This that, is ampli amplified. This, this is amplified because it's uh, the only voice the piano wouldn't carry out right. there. So that's the only voice in the organ that's wow, that's cool. Uh, that is that is amplified. You'll see different wind chests around the division. There's actually 38 of those around the whole organ to maintain the proper wind pressure for the different divisions. Okay. And the telephone. Lord and Taylor. <laughs> the telephone. Organ rectifier. The telephone. Uh, of course, the telephones were here, uh, and that's how they used to communicate between the divisions and the console. They, it still operates, but they they're not really used. Mm. <laughs> uh, these are some of the electrical junction boards for the uh, for the two. What's called the tooties, which are some of the put the put uh, the uh, uh, pistons that uh, automatically put on groups groups of pipes. Um, so this is how they set those and uh, determine what stops go on the 2D division um, so that you can change the voicing very quickly. Mm. Um, you can come in here and watch your head because this is very low. Got it. Okay? So I'm going to catch a light switch here. Right? Watch your head. Here's a good view of this is the eight foot uh, panel division. Um, you can see the different sets of pipes. Uh, you were asking about tuning? Yes. If you come over here and look, you'll see each pipe either has a cap on it that enables you to raise or lower, lengthen or shorten, mm -hmm. or some of them have those rolled metal that you can change. Uh. Uh, see the wooden pipes over there with like little chimneys over yes. the top of the head? Yeah. By, by raising or lower they, that, that lengthens or shortens the, um, uh -huh. the resonator. Mm -hmm. uh, those pipes over there have tuning collars. You see there's a collar around by the top, yes. and by sliding that up or down, wow. you change the length. So that's how you tune the pipe. Huh. Cool. Okay. I see a sink inside yeah. an organ. Well, we have a kitchen sink, <laughs> yes. yes. You can see this is, this is the end of the divisions of some of the pipes. You can see how, how the physics of the pipes are, are designed so that the, the difference in the way the pipe speaks, the, the upper cut, the lip, uh, the, 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 the length, the relationship between the, the uh, diameter and uh, and, and the width and the length of the pipe and how the mil mouth is built all has to do with the physics of how it produces an individual uh, specific sound. Yeah. Here's some metal pipes, here's some zinc, <coughs> this is spotted metal, uh, there's some lead pipes, and each of those have to do with the character of how the pipe, mm -hmm. how the pipe sounds. Cool. Um, and in here is... More, uh, more reservoirs, uh, more swell divisions, the solo division above, the great division. Um, this is the uh, Opus 2 control system, which replaces a lot of the old uh, pneumatic action mm. that's much more reliable. Right. These, are the, these are the valves that are under each pipe. They're called Flemings. Okay. You can mm. see how they work by, mm -hmm. um, by opening and closing mm -hmm. the valve under mm -hmm. each pipe to allow them to speak. And when they go what bad, here's a, you know, the leathers only last so long. Oh, cool. So when they go bad, we have to take these apart, strip them, uh, give them a hot water bath, get the glue out, and rebuild them. What's it, what the, is it the, made the, of? Uh, well, it's a leather material. This is a different kind of material. They've, they've used different materials over the years, but leather is the best. Uh, what this kind is, of this is an oil clothes. I used uh, to re restore pianos. Oh, okay. Piano uh, <laughs> I, I, I can't tell you. There are different types of leathers that are used for different, uh, different divisions and different sizes of valves because they all have their own characteristics. But these are there's a valve for each pipe in the organ. Of course, there's 28,000 pipes, so right. you, you do the math. So we're always wow. we're yeah. always redoing those. Um, How many people work on the organ? Year? Oh. There's there's uh, four or five paid people by either Macy's or Friends of Music, Friends of Watermaker. Um, 
if you haven't picked up a brochure at the console, join the friends, send them a few bucks, get the newsletter, and you sort of get an idea of what's going on. Um, then there's a bunch of uh, volunteers like me that come in and work on it and do all kinds of stuff to keep it going. So it takes a lot of work. It's always under. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, it, the organ's 100% playable. It's in probably the best condition it's ever been in. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's a treasure. It's a treasure. It's fun to be in here when the, when the organ is playing because you, you can hear the <laughs> oh, valves wow. open. You wow. can see the valves open. It's kind of neat. Um, but it's, uh, it's after, uh, after the concert. Is it possible to come in during? You know, yeah, I bring people. Oh boy. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Oh and boy. And if they're playing a big piece, you, re you really. You really, <laughs> really get, yeah, you really, you really get a neat really sense of, of how magnificent this is. Yeah, I want to be in here when this is moving. When these are moving. Yeah, you'll see when, when the wind pressure comes on, you'll see these rise yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And they're spring loaded so that uh, they're maintaining the proper pressure. So when, when you play a bunch of notes, you see it contract to keep the air pressure inside. At the, at the right pressure. That's what they're, that's what they're for. Because the pipe only speaks at one wind pressure. If you blow too, too much or not enough, it, it won't sound right. So that's how that works. Whooshing or whistling. Yep. Right.